guys, how you doing? This is Mango etc. And I'm here today to bring you the review for One Piece episode 1028. So we start off with the creation of Big Mom's new homie. Me personally, I think that there was too much time spent on this. I don't remember it being this heavily focused on within the manga. So I feel like it was just a very poor start to the episode. But like I said, this was just basically Big Mom creating her new homie. <coughs> <coughs> excuse me big mom creating a new homie and then attacking kid and killer one time separating them from rufi's to just further down in onigashima after that we see page one advancing on nami and usap and otama i think it is it might be otaku i can't remember the little girl's name but we just have them trying to escape with nami and robin nami and robin nami and usap tactically trying to get rid of page one with no success is there i don't really have any problem with this part of the episode it is what it is so after that we see a scene where we have kid and killer we know that the, well, they we know that they have left the roof and they are trying to find big mom in order to stop her but while they're trying to look for her they bump into hawkins and i think it's i feel like the episode i don't remember it being like this in the manga but i feel like the episode was heavily portraying that it's because of killer's loyalty two kid maybe some other things in there as well but heavily on the loyalty part especially what, what what the episode was making me feel heavily on the loyalty part killer is willing to let kid go on to fight big mom while he takes on hawkins and now when this came up in the manga i was really excited because i've always liked the thought of two people from the west generations fighting but this is all wrapped up said in the manga but i'll leave my opinions on the fight until it actually comes to fruitation within the anime that is so kid has gone on to find big mom and fight her whereas we find out that hawkins only portrayed the alliance the kid apu hawkins alliance because he felt like well rather he knew that if he didn't side of kaido here during kaido there and then that he was gonna die that's something i did think pretty early on um when this first originally happened but you know this is just confirmation within the episode so the last thing to talk about for this episode is roof piece so within this episode in the roof piece scene we basically see luffy well we find out that luffy has learned that you can infuse attacks with conquerors haki and then him going on to try this out now i'm probably gonna say something that's like probably unpopular opinion or just people just won't like to hear at all but i'm gonna be truthful i'm gonna say it this is just it's sincerely how i felt yes it was flashy it was shabby it was animated very well it was nice to see however that is probably the only good thing i'm going to say about it my problems with the scene are as followed one too heavily focused on flashback i know within the manga or for the anime only watches i should let you know within the manga there was flashback there was luffy thinking about to his training there was that in there but it wasn't so heavily it wasn't so heavily focused on there was no flashback of zoro doing the dead man's game or just zoro's involvement in her and kaido at all that wasn't there there was no struggle in the attacks that Luffy did. It was all very fast paced. It was all very fast paced. <laughs> it was all very fast paced. It was like block of the block of the foot and then what do you do after that? I can't remember what you do after that, but obviously the final punch and then what he says afterwards. Basically, my problem with this scene, with this just this pod's episode was simply because because of the flashbacks i've listed them because of the struggles the, oh this punch to the gut that's why i forgot because of the struggling it all made the thing seem so very slower pace than it did in the manga and i just feel like that's not what other was trying to betray here what other was trying to betray i feel like what other was trying to betray here is that luffy has learned a new skill infusing attacks with conquerors that key and those three attacks that he does was supposed to be very seamless very quick and just showing that yes luffy can now hurt kaido yeah so that's what i feel like and i feel like because of how it was done in the anime it makes luffy but yeah it makes kaido look better like you know but it makes come luffy look weaker 
So that's my problem. And the final nail on the coffin. All these problems I mentioned, by the way, are not in very, are not in order. It's just all together to make my one complaint about that, um, about this bit of episode. But the final nail on the coffin was the music they used. I do not feel like the background music they used for this scene was fitting at all. They should have picked something else completely. But yeah, I think that is everything I got to say about this episode. So overall. The pace, I feel like the pacing for this episode was very slow and that just did not make it an enjoyable episode for me. And it's for those reasons, I can only give it a two star rate. And yes, there were some very exciting things happening, especially towards the end of the Well, yeah, the only very exciting thing to happen was the whole learn you can infuse Konkurosaki into your attacks. That was a very exciting time within the manga and to see him display that those attacks on Kaido. I feel like the anime kind of ruined that for me. So pacing overall was just really bad. So I'm only giving it a two star rating. Like always guys, I'm asking for your thoughts and opinions. If you haven't already, please go to my YouTube channel. But most importantly, take care. Have a nice day.